what is up guys Rafa here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can install and play Pokemon Go on your Mac so uh, it's actually pretty simple uh, what you do is you go to Safari and there's a link I have in the description you go ahead and click that and you land on this page so what you do over here uh, you see this link right over here you click that and you are sent to this Google page over here you go ahead and click download and it's gonna take you to this page you press download anyway um, I'm just gonna quit this because I already have downloaded it so uh, once you have it downloaded it's gonna be something like this right over here so you go ahead and click that and this is what you see now step one is to install this virtual box package so you go ahead and double click that and it's gonna pop up with a page and it's gonna ask your first of all it's gonna verify the thing and it's gonna ask for your password you go ahead and enter your password and you know you just follow on with the so you know you just follow the steps and you're good for that and once you've done with that you go ahead and just drag this into your applications folder and uh, then you have the application I have it already so I'm gonna show you right over here so this is the application we need and this is the application we need as well we're not gonna be opening this but we still need it installed so you have once you have this the Knox app player you go ahead and open that and this is what pops up it's gonna load the entire thing so you know be patient let it load it's gonna take around uh five to ten minutes or something i i don't know it doesn't usually take that long but at max it should take five minutes maybe not even ten minutes i exaggerated that thing so you let it start it's gonna start saying android and you just wait till then Okay, so you're going to be showing this screen over here and you're going to have the Pokemon Go app already installed and you are not going to have this. Okay, so what you first do is you go to your browser. You're going to you, so you just click browser and you type in APK Pure. Type that in Google and you press the first link right over here. You go down to the popular section and you press Pokemon Go and you um i think it's easier to use this app instead so you're gonna click uh download using apk pure app and you're gonna download that and this is the app you're gonna have so now you click the app and it's gonna launch like you uh you know launch a normal app on android and then you go down to the popular section to see pokemon go and you so it's gonna say update over here or maybe it says download either way you just click download or update and then you install the app and basically you have Pokemon Go the updated version so everything from here is pretty simple um, also something you need to do is go into settings and add a Google account right over here you're supposed to add a Google account or if you're if you want to use the uh, the Pokemon trainer club account you can do that as well so it's gonna show up like that I actually went through the process of signing in so just so it's easier and it doesn't take uh, that much time I already signed in so what is gonna happen next is that this button right over here this is the location button so how you're gonna select your location is uh, I'm gonna wait for the app to start so it just started so you go through the signing in process and you know it starts like this there's a Pokemon nearby blah 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 okay so the problem most people face is that it's gonna say no GPS detected and it's either gonna put you in like the middle of the ocean or something so what you do is you see this part over here you click that and then it brings you to your location settings uh, let's say I want to go to Santa Monica so I type in Santa Monica and I press geocode and then it's gonna bring us over here if we zoom in so um, 
I actually don't want to be inside here. I want to be near the beach where the pier, the Santa Monica Pier is. Okay, so I double click to move around. And wherever I want to go, I, I double click. And right over here, I press OK. Once I press OK, you see my guy is moving. So let's go ahead and test this out. So let's catch a Pokemon. Let's catch this uh, Charmander over here. No camera since we're using a... Okay. Oh god, I'm used to my phone, so... I'm just gonna... Ah, oh, crap. There you go. So it's gonna... So that's it. You guys are done. I'm just gonna uh, go through some... Uh, just gonna play the app to show you that, you know, all everything is working fine, Pokestops and everything. So, just gonna go this, uh, go through this with you guys. So, that's basically it, I guess. Let's make any nickname up, um, YouTube. Yes, I wanna be called YouTube. Well, yeah doesn't I'll just call myself nickname ah oh, god damn it holy shit oh my god what the hell is wrong with me you know what I'll just call myself Jesus Christ what's wrong with my keyboard okay um what the hell okay there seems to be something wrong with my keyboard so i'm gonna name myself qwerty or whatever i can type in yes i want to be called qwerty the name isn't available god you know what i'm just gonna butcher this completely Okay, <laughs> I'd be so pissed off if someone had that name. Okay, so blah blah blah, Pokestops, blah blah blah. Okay, blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, so now to move around, you use this map over here, and you click it once, and the guy over here is gonna move around. So make sure you press OK so that the location is selected, and then the guy moves around. So we have our Pokes uh, Pokestop over here. I'm gonna click the Pokestop and move it around and there you go we got an egg we got our pokeballs everything's working perfectly you guys can catch whatever pokemon you want and make sure that you um i i've heard that there's this uh if you want to travel like long distances like say you want to get to um some other country or something then you will get soft band so i think there's a way to bypass soft band which is you go to any once you travel to your different country you press the pokestop uh when you're soft banned so you're going to be soft banned you're not going to be able to catch any pokemons you're going to get nothing from the pokestops so what you do is you go find a pokestop uh and you press it like this right over here i'm gonna travel to this pokestop over here and i'm going to show you what you do so you go over here you click the pokestop Okay, and it's gonna show up and when you're soft man it's gonna give you nothing at all. So you spin it, you exit out, and you go back in and you spin it and exit out and you keep on doing that, keep on doing it. Uh, about 40, 40 times you do that about 40 times and then you get your stuff and you get soft bands. I mean I mean you get <laughs> you get unbanned. So it's a way to bypass the the soft band, which is pretty cool. Um, I actually don't use this on my phone. This is only for people who, I mean, I wouldn't encourage really GPS spoofing, but if you really, really have to, then you know what, go ahead. But, uh, I'd really encourage you to go out and, uh, you know, just have some fun playing the game. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, uh, you can drop them down below and I will try my best to answer them. So I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.